All right, welcome once again to Tucson, Arizona, here at Dust Devil 2011. My name's Dump Truck. And I am Roller Derby's Mildred Fierce. And this is going to be awesome. I am <laughs> so stoked. I can smell it. We're, we're going to, sorry about that. <laughs> we are going to have a lot of fun this morning. But DNN wants to thank you for tuning in today. You're watching Viewer Supported Derby News Network. If you're enjoying this weekend's coverage of the Dust Devil Tournament, please consider making a contribution to support future DNN coverage. Without your help, we couldn't do this. And also, thank you to Fast Girl Skates, the very first brick and mortar roller derby store. Offers the best in clothing, skates, and gear. Can't get to their Seattle store? Check out fastgirlskates.com. Well, right now we do have number one seed going against, I believe, number four seed, Angel City. And the winner of this will advance to the tournament. The loser of this game will be thrown into the consolation brackets, which have actually proven to be some really great games. There were some fantastic games yesterday in the consolation brackets, I have to say. Bellingham versus Arizona last night, last game of the day. If you tuned out early, you missed a very close game. Final score, I believe, was 121 to 125. And Santa Cruz Derby Girls actually losing one of the closest games yesterday and a nail-biter at the end to Arizona. It's a one-point spread at the last jam. Wow. Good derby. All right, on the jammer line for Angel City, starting off, one of their go-to jammers is going to be Ghetto Fabulous. And for Carolina, that's number 999, Holly Wanna Crack Ya. With the fanny With the pack fanny of pack. power. I know. What's in that fanny pack? Well, she'll never tell. Kryptonite? <laughs> Holly Wanna Kryptonite Ya? Yesterday, we saw from Angel City that they know how to play a smart game. They, they know how to keep their, their nerves under control, they stay focused. Whenever they lose that focus, you'll watch them call a timeout or take advantage of an official timeout. So they together recognize. And they get back to it. Yeah, they're totally aware. That's totally nice. aware of it. And Carolina brought just a different enough game to throw some other teams coming from a different region, maybe just slightly different styles all over the country. I and they've been works. playing together for a long time as well. And what I have seen yesterday is within the first three and four jams, we have such smart teams here that they're they're sussing each other out those oh, first yeah. four games, and their game changes by the fifth jam. Both oh. both teams. I will I will go ahead and predict that Carolina will be one of the few teams that does not do that. Carolina is one of those teams that will come out and they will play their game and they will do their best to make you play their game. And if they can do that, they can start off in control. Angel City stuck to their guns yesterday as well, but I agree. There was a lot of feeling out in the first, you know, four to six jams or so. So what are we going to see with both of these teams stick to their own game? Well, somebody's going to have to give eventually, or somebody's just going to be more successful at, at um, completing their, their goals and being able to execute the uh, strategy that they would like to accomplish. So they're going to be peeing on trees for the first few Oh, years. definitely. Okay. My tree. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. My tree. No, uh, my tree. Mine's bigger. Uh, my tree. Sorry. <laughs> <sighs> And they're doing it on skates. Yes, of course. <laughs> well, it has been so much here, so much fun here in Tucson. Tucson throwing a great tournament. The vending here is awesome. We got all the latest stuff that you want to check out as far as roller derby equipment, apparel, and even you know you can get some buttons made. You can have a caricature like a true comic book style. Really, yeah, I didn't see that yet. They were doing that yesterday. The the, the guy that um that did the logo for this tournament, which is a fantastic a logo. logo. Yeah. Uh, he was over there, and he's uh, the Tucson's artist and just does some amazing work. So when they did your caricature, did it just look like some normal person? <laughs> is it kind of the he, rule He goes, opposite? can we just take a picture? <laughs> <laughs> today I am rocking the Wicked Skatewear superhero outfit today. Let me describe your outfit for the viewers at home if there's not a camera on it. It's so pink. <laughs> and so yellow that my skin is melting and there's knee socks involved and well little dump <laughs> little dump making another appearance at yet another tournament but you're wearing black shorts which is new for you I think I, I, I have to agree kind of subtle it, it is, it is <laughs> but it's also thrown off by the uh, gargantuan amounts of pink and, and caution yellow and your diamond gauges that's right got my blade. real diamonds you know, they make me feel pretty <laughs> So does beer, but I don't have any of that right now, so I'll go with the bling. Looks like we have some whistles coming up here in just seconds. All right, the first game of the day is underway for Dust Devil 2011. It's barely underway. Look at that. Someone didn't tell the pack that the whistle blew. They're just waking up. Give them a moment. It's early. I can't and believe we're, we're actually awake in this chipper. And, there's, and that last wheel crossed that line. 
right. Ghetto Les going right through the middle. Oh, look Gets at to the front of the pack, but now she's got to get around the pivot from Carolina. And Polly, uh, Holly Wanakraki is still stuck in the back of the pack against a big wall of gold. Wow, Lee Jefferson oh. is going to Angel City. And a big hit from Ima Blobaya takes Holly Wanakraki out in turn four, but she's back. Well, they're going to have to focus on Holly Wanakraki. She is extremely resilient. You can beat her and beat her and beat her, and she'll get up and take some more punishment without Which, thinking about it. But what Angel City did very well yesterday was forcing penalties on a jammer and getting those power jam situations. And look what right they now. just did. Holly Wanakraki to the box for the first major penalty of the day. Ghetto Fabulez starting her scoring run here, trying to go to the inside of turn one, but getting pushed to the infield. And that was misanthrope to Mordant pushing her in. Did a lot of great work yesterday. We're seeing Angel City utilizing the isolation play, what we call trapping the goat. Looks like we got a back block. We're going to have a jammer switch out now. It's time for Holly Wanna Crack it to answer back. Well, with no, no points on the board yet, this is uh, still a great opportunity for both teams playing that jammer trade out game. Let's talk about how important this game is going to be, all these games, especially today. Let's lay it out. Wait, wait, all these leagues are not going to get to see a lot of other leagues before the second quarter of rankings come out mm -hmm. for the WFTDA, which determine who's going to go to regionals. Right. This is a big one for so that. By the time June comes around, most of their experience, interleague at least, is going to happen this weekend. And so a lot of them are going, all right, if we want to go to this tournament, we got to be successful here if we want to uh, move forward in the Western region. Are you making predictions? I, I am not making predictions. I'm still learning a lot about these leagues. There's a lot that I haven't seen. Uh, I may live in L.A. now, but it's only been three weeks. This is my first time to actually be able to watch the Scarlets in the 2011 season. Nice. Carolina, I've been able to see quite a bit. There's somebody that's good, that has been around, has uh, stayed competitive throughout the years, and uh, they're going to show you this weekend that that's not going to change anytime soon. And, and, and I also am seeing a lot of these teams for the first time, or the first for the first time in at least a season and a half. So. No, I'm I'm stay I'm I'm Switzerland. It's good to be Switzerland. It is awesome to be Switzerland. People like me. <laughs> <laughs> On the line for Carolina is Evil Eye number thirteen. And we're gonna have Go Go Gidget number four zero two in the gold for Angel City. Go Go making her way to the front of the pack. So far, the Jammers have been very successful in making their way to the front of the pack very very quickly. Oh, Evil Eye sneaking around the outside to be your lead jammer. That's like nobody even expected her to go on the outside there. Well, you, you have the, the front two wall that Carolina had, and it was just enough to continue to hold Go-Go Gidget back. And at the same time, no one else was focused on what Discordy was doing, and she's a very, very deadly player. Deviled legs working all over that pa uh, that pack. She's the pivot for Carolina, and she's in the back, she's in the front. She's everywhere. Carolina's one of those squads that they've got a few all-stars, but you put any of their skaters on any travel team, and they will do well, and they will probably help that program succeed. They, they, they just have a very deep bench, and they've got a lot of talent in Carolina. That's fantastic. And we're going to see Evil Eye making, oh, goes down at the front of the pack on her scoring pass and calls it off. Silent disaster. And that's a four points, I believe, for five points for Carolina there. No? Five, six, seven, eight. Three. Five points was Holly on a crack yet, picking up a grand slam. There's another three for Evil Eye. And we got three for Carolina now over ACDG's one, so both teams are on the board now. Angel City starting this pack a little bit light. Yeah, you start doing that against a team with the experience of Carolina, and you just give them all the opportunity in the world to take advantage of your two pack. Right now, it is going to be two on four advantage going to Colorado, uh, Colorado Carolina in the pack. And Holly Wanakraka jamming and already your lead jammer through the pack so fast. Christy Yamagachi at the front of the pack trying to get through. Looking for some help there from Brawl Stanley. There's just not enough gold in the pack to be able to get through. No, she's got a big wall of black in front of her right now. They're almost out of the engagement zone, doing a nice bridge to keep themselves in. Holly Wanakraka sliding right by to the inside over in turn four. Looking to start picking up some points here. Brawl Stanley putting the pressure on, knocking out of bounds, able to stay in. Holly Wanakraki is going to go ahead and move back to business. And Holly Wanakraki is still stuck in that back of that pack, through on the inside again, and looks like she's trying to trap the other jammer, which she did pretty nicely. Yeah, your jammer can definitely help the pack to swallow your opponent. Absolutely. You hang out back there, wait till your ladies to come up. They grab her, and now you're on the move, and you can get a lot of distance in between you and your opponent like you see here. We call that eating your young. <laughs> eating the baby. Eating the baby. Eat your young. 
the gerbil move. Major track cut, apparently. Duchess is going to be uh, taking a seat. Angel City going to be figured out. This is the intensity that Carolina brings to any track. They show up. They're going to go come out guns a-blazing. That's right. They're not easing into this first game today. No, definitely not. I mean, this is who's going to advance. And you got two different regions represented here. Uh, Angel City hoping to be slotted for the Western Regional Tournament. They do well here. Whether they win or not, they do very well against Carolina. That helps in, the, in their, you know, their goal for being at the Western Regional Tournament. And talk about an extremely, extremely hard region to be able to crack the shell. Now, Angel City's jammer did an illegal procedure starting a little bit too quick, had to yield to uh, Eris Discordia there, which she did, and is now she's stuck in the back of the pack. Yep, a little whistle confusion there, I think, is what it was. She jumped the gun, and that is going to be Ghetto Fabulez jamming in the gold for Angel City. And in the meantime, Eris Discordia already hitting the back of the pack for a scoring pass, getting beaten up by a lot of gold there. Number two, who's that, 90, 20, 95, is that Tyra Shanks giving her a hard time? Yes, ma'am. Fabulous, getting out of the pack now. Eris Discordia being forced to the back of the pack again, but you know, once again, through the inside and calls it off. You can't give her a lot of room. Her, her quick step is very, very dialed in. You give her about four strides, she'll take advantage of it, get to the pack just like that. She and Holly Wanakrakia did the, did, I think, all of the jamming yesterday. There was not a deep jammer bench for Carolina. You know, and so far they haven't really needed one. Uh, they 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 know exactly what they're capable of, and uh, this is one of the, this is the highest seed that they've had to face so far at this tournament. So now you're going to see a little bit more of a rotation. And now, just to prove me wrong, here's Ginger Clobbers on the jammer line <laughs> for Carolina. And we got Go Go Gidget in the gold for the Hollywood Scarlets. Ginger Clobbers. She did jam. It sounds like a cookie. Actually. Oh, and then she's down in between one and two. Has to enter at the back of the pack. Gogo -Go gets knocked out in turn two herself. They're both struggling to get through the pack. Oh, it looks like Ginger Clobbers maybe cut the track there on that on that uh, takedown. And this is going to be a power jam. Advantage Angel City. This while is good Go -Go timing. Gidget's still trying to get through the pack. And it's good timing for a power jam. Because right now we have a 20-point spread here. 20-point spread. you got a power jam, and you've got all of your blockers on the track. Sweet. Busting through. Lead jammer now owned by Angel City. With one minute, 17 seconds to go in the jam. And Miss Anthrope DeMornin is going to the box to join her jammer for some me time. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to reflect. It's kind of a quiet moment in a busy day. Both teams down, one blocker apiece. Carolina obviously down their jammer. Now they've got a three wall up in the front trying to keep her back, and they're doing a great job of it so far. See, right there, they showed a no pack. That's when Go-Go Gidget should have just started the quick step and haul ass to get exactly. through. That's her opportunity. Yeah, that's your signal to Go-Go. Gadget. Gadget. <laughs> she busts through and see how many points she picks up. She's going to pick up a grand slam for Angel City. Well, that's going to be a, a, a nice happy time on the bench. Definitely. Once, once this jam does come to a conclusion, they'll get to come back with some smiles in their face and say, okay, how do we become successful at that? This last jam, let's do it again. Let's do a little better. And there's Ginger Clobbers re-entering the pack. I believe she's still on her first pass, however. Yes, yeah, she will be on her first pass still. So Ginger Clobbers will just keep at it. Oh, for maybe another half half a track. <laughs> and gogo has got some time. She gets to the back, calls off the jam, picks up four more points. Very successful jam there by ACDG. Yes, a nice use of the penalty time from Carolina. So Carolina with 21 points over ACDG. Hmm. We have a discrepancy in the score, which we'll straighten out in just one moment. There's our live score and our virtual score. <laughs> <laughs> one's and, real and one's a mystery. And there's the numbers in my head. <laughs> 10 points for ACDG. Carolina 21, 20 minutes and a half to go in the first period. Looks like Carolina is going to try out another jammer and see what's going to work the best for them. This is number six, Thrashley. You know, we've got a lot of people to thank. The Hotel Arizona is definitely one of them. We'd like to thank them for putting up with us in style here in Tucson. <laughs> It's right next to the convention center where the dust double is going on right now. So next year when you go, you know what? Watching DNN last year just made me hungry for dust double. I got to go. You got to stay in Hotel Arizona. It's where yeah. everybody is. They treat you amazingly. They're so, so courteous. Very, very nice. They're wonderful. And uh, they give you a good place to pass out. <laughs> you know, I thought you said the, the, the Tucson Conviction Center. Well, you know, it all depends on how your weekend's it's a going. perspective thing. Yeah. I don't have any <laughs> convictions or inhibitions. <laughs> Nothing's ever been proved. 
Or caught on camera. <laughs> <laughs> That's shocking to me. <laughs> I've caught a number of things on camera already this weekend. You're welcome. <laughs> Tyra Shanks jamming for Angel City. And, of course, Thrashley, number six in black for Carolina. Have we talked about our color scheme for those viewing in case you're, you're, you're not – haven't caught up yet. That's in, right. Our, our Carolina Roller Girls All Stars are in black with a red stripe, and Angel City Derby Girls Hollywood Scarlets are in golden red. Just FYI. Tyra at the front of the pack. You know, fashion is a part of Derby. Yes. Tyra gets to the front. She's not going to be lead jammer. Minor track cut. Thrashley is stuck behind number who is that? 3D Mystifiant. Miss now Defiant did not skate yesterday. She actually was on the microphone here with DNN. Got to hang out with a little bit yesterday, and she's been excited for this game. Oh, I'll bet she has. Now Thrashley is through the pack. Not your lead jammer for a minor cutting the track. This is going to be a full two-minute jam as Tyra Shanks busts through and picks up four points on the way. And we've got Thrashley going past that last. And now she has got four points. She's got four points, too. And we've got one minute to go. This jam is halfway over. It will go the full two minutes. Tyra Shanks now going to the outside of turn four. Missing through up to Morton, headed to the box. So now it's three on four pack for this long jam. Not a lot of two minute jams yesterday in the games that I was watching. I only remember one that I called yesterday, and, and all of us working with Dina this weekend are calling a lot of games. So between you, myself, and Moxie, I believe we all called like four or five games yesterday. Yes, we did. So we get to see a lot of this stuff, and, and I, I agree 100%. Not a lot of two-minute jams. No. More strategery than that. Definitely. Major track oh, cut. Oh, dear. And this is where you, you really got to be careful. Especially Everyone wants them. to get forward. Angel City's on an upswing. Carolina's amazing, but you can't be giving away these power jams like that. Tyra Shanks at the back of the pack. No, and look at that pack stopped. Carolina doing a great job of, or Angel City doing a great job of keeping it slow, eat up all those points. Tyra getting bumped to the infield, re-enters the track, minor track cut. And it looked like Angel City had DBS goaded back there to keep that pack slow. She did bust through, but not in time. We've got ACDG with a few more points on the board. Where's this going to bring them? This is going to bring you to 21 points for ACDG under Carolina's 26. And we're right back to a six-point difference. We're going to start this jam with the jammer Thrashley for Carolina in the box with two of her blockers. Seeing a lot of this strategy happening this weekend. Really started to see it pick up towards the end of the season last year. Saw some glimpses of it in the beginning, I believe, in Philly at ECE. But uh, as the season came along last year, you saw more of it this weekend. You're seeing the strategy used heavily where all the blockers take a knee right. to force forward momentum. And, you know, I think the first time every, everybody really saw that was at West Regions yeah. last year. When, when um, who was it that was doing that? Was that? It wasn't Denver. Rocky? Rocky Mountain. Rocky Mountain. And the game changed so quickly. So many leagues picked it up. And what we saw again at Wild West was Denver. Uh, the Denver blockers lining up right in front of the opposing jammer. Yeah, yeah which, and there's one thing Denver's good at. It's exploiting the rules. They'll absolutely. find those holes and they'll make them work for them. And we're already seeing so many teams doing that same maneuver four weeks later. Right now we've got a jammer switch out. It's time for Thrashley to answer back for Carolina now in a power jam. The advantage on the floor going to absolutely no one as there's three on three in the pack. Oh, and we had the foremost Angel City blocker. Had she had to turn right to the box instead of left to block that jammer. Yeah, Chica, go lightning. Thrashley on another pass out at turn one. Chica at the front of the pack. You just watch her. She has got her eyes on Thrashley. She's hit her like three different times or at least tried to slow her down. And there she's using her teammate as ballast, which is one of my favorite moves. I, I love that. I mean, you should be able to, to skate with someone that is that good on their feet where you can use them like that. Well, I was always good ballast, but not necessarily because I was good on my feet. And look at Thrashley with a grand slam. That's her second one of this jam so far, I believe. So this is, you know, Angel City had, was finally catching up on the jam before this, and now they're going to lose that, uh, lose those few points that they had. Oh, it's going to be a back and forth. You can put your money on that. Reno Revolver down in turn four, taking her time a little bit. Doing that to try and empty out the bench, and now we got both jammers on the floor. Dutch is the only one in the box. She's on her feet getting ready to rejoin the action. And Thrashley almost all the way through. She's halfway through that pack, picking up two. Goes down between one and two. She will not lose those two points as she repasses. We've seen a lot of penalties compared to yesterday so far in the first period. Yesterday, I wouldn't say that it was more cautious derby, but I will say that they are very aware that they had a whole nother day of tournament to play. Exactly. So the intensity 
was usually saved for closer to the second half of the second period. Today, everything counts, and uh, it comes right out from the gate. I did see in some of the consolation bouts, it did get pretty aggressive at the end of some of those consolation oh, bouts. Yeah, and I think some of those doubt. girls were just so... Maybe their weekend wasn't turning out the way they'd wanted, and they're going to take it out on somebody. Uh, isn't that why they do this? <laughs> I've had a bad day. Where's my helmet and my skates? And you're, you're wearing mine. the wrong color. Exactly. <laughs> Someone didn't tell you how to dress this morning. I get that all the time. Well, no. Holly Wanna Crack It, jamming for Carolina. Go, go, get you, and the gold for the Hollywood Scarlets. Go, go, go look at her, make her way to the front of the pack on the inside of turn four. She sneaks right on by, picks up lead jammer status. Yeah, thanks to Carolina's pivot. That's great work by McFight out there. Breaking Holly up that crack. ball. Holly wanna crack it. Loves to make jammer on jammer contact. And she just kills the jam and knows that she did it. And she's like, look at me, Mom. I'm still awesome. Da, 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 da. <laughs> me and my fanny Christy Yamagacha on the jammer line for Angel City. And that's Joe. Is that JoJo Gadget? JoJo Gadget jamming. We have a GoGo -Go Gadget and a JoJo Gadget. That's not going to be confusing. No, not at all. Except maybe GoGo maybe, um, -Go Gadget will start blocking JoJo Gadget and we can play Scrabble up here. <laughs> I love Scrabble. I never win, but I like to try to spell. <laughs> Jojo Gidget, a very powerful jammer. You'll see her go through the pack, and she tends to make her own way. Yeah, I've, we've seen her blocking in the last few jams, and she is a powerful skater. And she is not having any of that Angel City wall. Like, wall? I don't think so. And Jojo Gadget is your lead jammer by force of will. Definitely. She fought the whole way and pushed the front three wall with almost 20 feet ahead of the rest of the pack. And they were able to slow her down for a bit, but now it's time to regroup and let Christy Yamagachi get through the pack. She did not even try to get around that wall. She just stuck her shoulder in and pushed. Yep. Love that. Move them legs, just push right on through. Oh, and then with a nice shirt whip off of Miss Anthrop to Morton, she is through to the front of the pack again. And calls it off, keeping Angel City from reaching the back of the pack. JoJo picking up four points, calling off the jam. Smart move. Time to regroup and... See who else is going to be jamming for Carolina. We haven't seen Discordia up there for a minute, so I'm sure we'll be seeing her in the next few jams. And we have a timeout for Angel City. And during this timeout, I want to give a shout to Adam Wheels. Adam's first official hybrid wheel is here. What? Here. Where? Here. Here. Right, here? Over, right over there. In Tucson. Right over there. What, what floor do you skate on? It doesn't matter. Poisons will grip anywhere. Poisons are available now in slim width and with aluminum alloy hubs. All those things are extremely important. Sexy. Mm, thanks, for, thanks for that. That'll just push me through the rest of the day. <laughs> well, it could if you're on Adam Wills. <laughs> oh, look at Carolina's having a hug. You know, so I, uh, hugging hug gets you through the day. Yes. Let's hug. Let's hug. Oh, oh, I just feel so much better now. I feel dirty. <gasps> I'm not letting go. I'm not letting go either. I don't want to quit you. I just can't I, quit I, I you, dump truck. <laughs> Certain things you don't want to quit. Bacon. Mm, bacon. Good shoes. Oh, yeah. Dump truck. <laughs> oh, I made the list. I know, and that's a short list. <laughs> Thanks for noticing. <laughs> how, many, how many more times can I say that today? Da, 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 da. He's here all day. And our, our timeout has ended, and we have number six, Thrashley, on the line for Carolina. Go, she, go, Gidget, number 402 for Angel City. She was having a great jam for Carolina until that unfortunate trip to the box. That happens. I know. Well, let's see what she learned. Well, right now she's learning that Angel City's back wall <laughs> can contain her pretty well. And Gogo -Go looking really patient as she comes to the front of the pack. You don't see her really just trying to make moves out of haste. She's waiting for it. I mean, her eyes are scanning the front going, okay, where's she going to go? Where's she going to go? Oh, and Thrashley found a hole on the inside and snuck right up, took advantage of it. And guess what? She's your lead jammer. Roxy Rocket doing a great job for Carolina, holding back Go-Go Gidget until their jammer can get through. And Thrashley is about halfway around the track right now. Nicely done. And who is that 617 over there doing so much work? Ghetto Fabulous cleaning up the track. Getting those pesky blockers out of the way. Ghetto Fabulous, one of the go-to jammers for Angel City, but you'll see her in the pack a lot. Angel City tends to use their entire bench. 
You know, I, I think that's really smart to have have people blocking and jamming because it does play with the minds of the opposing team sometimes. They get used to a number or something and they think it's, you know, block or jammer, what are you doing now? Yeah. It is, um, it's smart. And smart. as a blocker, th that person gets to really feel what those other blockers are doing oh, and, yeah. and, and where they're going to go, how they're going to juke. And then they get in as a jammer and they're smarter. Oh, they, they pick it up. Your best jammers are also going to be really great blockers because they understand both sides of the ball. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen the ball yet this weekend. Have you seen it? I've been looking for it the whole time. Not yet. I think it's over in the bucket of steam over there. <laughs> Holly want a crack, yeah. Back with her fanny pack. Duchess. Is that a unicorn on that her fanny pack? That is a unicorn. Pack? It's the fanny pack of power. Wow, no it wonder she's so reputation. good. I'd be surprised if it didn't have a Facebook page. Wow. I, I, would, to I would totally like the fanny pack. What do you think is in there? I've been projecting chapstick, of course. Oh. Well, yeah. Baby tears. <laughs> Tono clippings from a Sasquatch, and my first pair of underwear. Oh my God! There's a lot going on. Oh, our first apex jump of the game. Wow, Duchess Von Dam making her way through the pack, just sliding right on through it. Turn two, gets through. Not going to be lead jammer for a minor track cut. Oh, and Holly, whoa, Holly, want to crack it? Doing some crazy moves, and oh, that was amazing. Yeah, that was fantastic. That's what you do. There was a lot of jumping and sliding right there. Go googly skating. <laughs> giggity, giggity. Giggity, giggity. Giggity, giggity. There we are. Here's Aristis, Aristis Cordia jamming again for Carolina back on the line. And Tyra Shanks for Angel City hailing from the City of Angels. It's catchy. Angel City from the City of Angels? It's true. City of Angels. What is that City of Angels song? I don't know. Come on. I, oh, come on. I'd never heard that Flock of Seagulls song last night. I mean. You'd never heard the Flock of Seagulls song? Uh, no, there was one that we played last night that I hadn't heard. I have heard a couple of Flock of Seagulls songs. Yeah. It's not exactly in my iTunes. No, I'm not an expert. It's not like I can say, oh, I like their old stuff. Their, you know, I like their early stuff or their late stuff. Well, I wouldn't know. Same. I like their hair stuff. I think they were around. Yeah, Hurt Reynolds looks fantastic with that hair stuff. He looks good. Eris Discordia almost through to the front of the pack. Oh, and look who's going to the box. Oh, my goodness. Tyra Shanks jamming for Angel City is going to be going to the penalty box, making this a power jam advantage for Carolina. Oh, my God. I've never announced with you and heard you say power jam standing right next to me. <laughs> and you've probably never heard me say power jam. No, but I it's, like it. It's, it's the anti-dump truck version. <laughs> the anti-truck. The anti-truck. Oh, and there's Eris Discordia hopping through that pack. It's going to be a full two-minute jam. She did have a minor track cut on her way through. <laughs> Got about a minute to go in the jam. This is going to be a. Is this another? This is another two-minute jam, I believe, isn't it? This we is have the second one of this game. That is. So that's a lot of derby to see. <laughs> Look at that nice push cart that uh, Aris Discordia gets from her blocker. Almost standing upright, just gets pushed right down the track. Missed and the fight trying to push her out in turn one, not able to do so. Seeing Carolina now picking up a grand slam for the ladies from the east. Or east-ish. East-ish. South-ish. South-east. South-ish, east-ish. South-east-ish. What town in North Carolina are they from? Raleigh. Raleigh. Oh, that's a beautiful, that's a beautiful place. Raleigh, Durham. They're, they're kind of amazing top to bottom. Mm -hmm. And we have said it a few times this weekend, the only thing they're missing is Rocker Boy. I love that man. Tyra Shanks busts her way through the pack now. Looking to start picking up the pace, catch it up. She is really speeding it up there. Mystifying and breakfast. <gasps> what a nice name. <laughs> she breaks fast and is delicious. Mm. Well, I'm happy to see teams from other uh, regions coming out to play in these tournaments. It really gives you a different perspective. And we've got, of course, Carolina and Fort Collins. No, Fort Collins is from South Central. No, Fort Collins is from the West. And uh, Fort Assassination Collins, City. I'm sorry, Assassination, Assassination City, City from City. Dallas, Texas. They are from the South Central region. We've got Pacific Roller Derby here from Hawaii too. Hawaii. They are having a ball. I know. They are an interesting league. They don't always all practice together because they live on different islands. <laughs> I know. Well, I'm sorry, I couldn't make it to practice tonight. My puddle jumper couldn't make it. And we have number 17 missing through up to Mor Mordant. Jamming, your lead jammer for North Carolina, her first time on the track as a jammer. She wasted no time at all going to the outside in turn one to get lead jammer status. But she gets through, calls off the jam before Yamagacha 
can do any real damage. Her hip pads make her look completely bionic. <laughs> Faster, stronger, more amazinger. Bouncier. <laughs> Hit, hittablier. <laughs> Hittier. There's Duchess Van Dam on the jammer line for Angel City again. She is only this is her second time to jam so far. Last time you saw her try to jump the apex, had a minor track cut, and Holly Wanna Cracky killed the jam after that. Right. And now we've got Thrashley up for I believe her third jam for Carolina. This should be a pretty great matchup, I think. Duchess a very oh. intense for looking to get a little juke. Ends up getting knocked out. Now she's got some regrouping to do, relying on the front wall of Angel City to continue the whole Thrashley. Looked like she was pulling a, uh, oh, I'll, I'll name drop in just a minute, as soon as I remember the name. Oh, oh dear. Wah, wah, wah. All that work, and now you got to go to the penalty box. It's, it, this is not something that's going to make Angel City's life any easier. You know, I like the juking style she had, where she makes all the noise behind the blockers. It's like the skater from... Um, you know, Amazing skater in the Northwest. She uh, she was at Wild. Oh, oh, never mind. No, hold on. She's you hockey just said player. The amazing skater she's on. From the she's Northwest. on the women's I mean, a U.S. women's hockey team. Hockey. I, I am. I'm from Mississippi. We put ice in our tea. Oh my gosh. Every okay. My my peeps know who I'm talking about because I'm in love with her. <laughs> and it's so embarrassing when you forget your crush's names. And we did have a major track cut by Thrashley there, so we're going to have a jammer switch out. Duchess Von Dam has an opportunity to work it out. Well, this is a great opportunity for Angel City, and they, they need a couple, maybe two opportunities here to make to real big opportunities. Yeah, without a doubt, especially with only 35 seconds to go in this jam. Hopefully she can make a pass and pick up some points here. Carolina picking up the pace, making it a little more difficult for Duchess to do it. And a nice Duchess hit to, the, to outside. Go on the outside. Angel City, her blocker is coming up to make some holes for her. And that comes up against a big wall of black in the front. And what is she going to do this time? The outside did not work last time. And she's... Uh, wait a minute, really, is this an engagement zone here? I think that was what she was thinking. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And she actually tipped off Carolina's blockers, who then bridged. Thank you, we'll build one. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of hard work there in that jam. I tell you, though. Carolina looks really great on the track. Angel City is not the Angel City of last year. They've made it very obvious this tournament. They've got their stuff together. They seem right now to just be getting outplayed a bit, but there's a lot of roller derby to go. Go, go, Gidget is going to be on the jammer line for Angel City, all by her lonesome. We have Thrashley in the box. Brawl Stanley on her feet looking to rejoin the action for Angel City in the pack. So before the game started, you, you thought both of these teams were really going to stick to their own game, not give in at all. Do you think that's hurting Angel City? Or do you think they're giving and that's hurting Angel City? I don't think that uh, either team is really giving to either one's strategy so far. I think they've both pretty much stuck to their guns. You see them attempting uh, you know, to, to apply their own strategies. Carolina has just been better at execution. Nice. I mean, who wants to play somebody else's game? Not me. I want to play mine. Mine is usually go find dumb trunks pants. <laughs> <laughs> There's, we're all winners at that game, and we have lead jammer for Carolina. And once again, I think we saw what you just talked about. Carolina, uh, she did not start in the box, but she just hit that jammer line right in time for that whistle, and they stuck to their game, and she became lead jammer. Got three right away. Well, they're, they're, their pack play has just been phenomenal. They're, they're, they know when to turn that offensive head on. They definitely know when to turn that defensive head on. They've been doing it together for a long time. Their synchronicity is fantastic. And she calls that off in turn two on the way to the ground, which is still good. It's still good. Oh, yeah. Score update. Wow. Only three minutes to go in regulation the first period. This You've has been one be fast game. Me. 62 for Carolina, 24 for ACDG. ACDG should be very proud of all 24 of those points. We should have ordered an extra side of minutes for this first half <laughs> because it's really delicious. It is. It's fantastic. Looks like we have an official timeout. And if you're checking out this action on the track and you're going, you know what? I want to be as good as Carolina. I want to be as, at the level of Angel City. Yeah. Go to Fast Girl U. It is Fast Girl University. You can check them out at fastgirlu.com. That's the word. Fast, the word girl, U. At dot com, not the word you, the letter. So fastgirlu.com. Right now they're actually in Okinawa, Japan. 
for Fast Girl University. That's and crazy. They're, yeah, they're going to be hosting a derby clinic there. And if you want to host a training event in your area, just check it out at fastgirlu.com. And also, try on Antic Skate Boots and experience the feel of cutting-edge design, mm. passion, and performance. <laughs> Antic Skate Boots, define your sport. Bacon not included. <laughs> I really, I love, I love that sponsor shout out because he uses the word passion and performance. I just like hearing you say <laughs> passion and performance. Passion. It sounded sexier yesterday when I had a deeper voice. Well, do what I do. Gargle razor braids and <laughs> chase it with a shot of lemon drops and it'll work out fine. But how often do you have to sing pretty? Sing? Uh, karaoke. <laughs> Tone Loke's about all I can do. I rest my... Ca- I've heard the I've heard the name Tone Loke three times today. Now I said it once. It's National Tone Loke <laughs> Day. You didn't know. I believe it's actually Roller Derby's birthday today. It's not Roller Derby's birthday. When's Roller Derby's birthday? There is a date, and we celebrated it last year. Yeah. That that guy said what it was. Yeah, that guy. That guy. That guy we love right now. Yeah. It's someone's birthday though, <laughs> so I didn't mean to offend anybody. Tyrus Shanks, Jamie for Angel City, making easy work of it, going to the outside line of the straightaway, gets through lead jammer status. And we've got Carolina stuck in the middle of the pack. Oh, and pushed all the way back again, and that's Eris Discordia trying to make her way through and getting a heck of a time from Chica Go Lightning. We were talking about it before the game even started. Angel City able to regroup. You give them a break, they'll regain their focus, and they'll be able to do some successful things. You're seeing a grand slam right there for the ladies from Los Angeles. Nicely done. And we've got, oh, Eris Discordia all the way through, almost all the way through the pack. I think she thought she was all the way through the pack and got knocked back down. Was that another Grand Slam? Hey, no. It was not another oh, Grand Slam. Oh, no. It was a being t- thrown out. Our, our, our Chica Go Lightning had to go to the box. And what was that for there? It looks like it was Dumping? going to be uh, a back block, I think is what it was oh. called. Could, there was a lot of traffic going on. Couldn't necessarily see it. Angel City controlling the clock. You can hear the bench yelling, call the jam, call the jam, because the ever-deadly Discordia <laughs> is creeping on her back door. Yes. And by creeping, we mean going really fast. Really quick and about to do some damage. <laughs> She's a hard one to stop. Their, their, their main three-jammer rotation Carolina has is very impressive, and they're also able to throw a little dash of this and a little dash of that in there to mix it up. Just when you get used to those three jammers, they throw in someone else. That's what I love about the second half. It erases your mind. Yeah, it's like <laughs> end scene. Yeah, you gotta start look all into over the again. light. Okay. <laughs> Christy Yamagachi on the jammer line for Angel City. And well, if that isn't Holly Wanna Crack, yeah. Fantastic jammer and dancer. Really? Which I think we'll see tonight at the after party. If you have never seen the girls of Carolina uh, show off their moves at an after party, then you just haven't lived. And Holly wanna crack ya behind one really distant blocker. She's through and your lead jammer. Daisy Rage out going to the box for Carolina. And it's Defiant now on her feet, meaning she's got 10 seconds or less to go in the penalty box. Christy Yamagacha makes it through the pack. Holly wanna crack ya looking to score some points here. She does so great push through by JoJo Gidget. Yeah, and just calls it off right at the line. 70 points now for Carolina over ACDG's 31. And I believe that is going to be the half. So we'll give your ears a break here in a minute. Do want to remind you guys you are watching Dust Devil 2011 here at the Tucson Convention Center on Derby News Network. My name's Dump Truck. And I'm Roller Derby's Mildred Fierce. And this is DNN. Shows what we know. 
I just did what Dump Truck told me to do. Oh, yeah, that's right. He told me to idea. go have a halftime. Because you know, my best judgment is what I'm known for. This is, oh, okay. So you, if you look at one scoreboard, it does say halftime. See? I, I, I knew it. No, it this, this one did the same thing. And they are resetting a jam clock, I believe, and now it's at 153. All right. All they want to crack is going to be jamming for Carolina. And who is that for Angel City? Oh. That is Go Go Gidget. That is a Go Go bounce off of number 17 there, Miss Synthrope to Morton. She was going to have no back blocking there. Go Go trying to get through. Holly want to crack you taking out Go Go. She loves that jammer on jammer contact. She may be short, but she is definitely a solid, massive woman. She's not a large skater by any means, but every ounce of her is muscle. And she is not afraid of confrontation. No, <laughs> but I think she actually revels in it. And she is through the pack, and I believe she will... Yes, she is the lead jammer. She made it through that pack clearly with all that contact. Some people would say, call the jam. She says, I got time to skate. Watch me go. I want to pick up some points for this all said and done. She'll say, you know, I think I'll give my team a few little presents before halftime. Oh, and now we've got someone off the track well, we've got talking Gettle to the Les captain. And Miss Defiant now going to the box, which makes easy work of that pack for Holly Wanna Cracky. She picks up a grand slam here to now close the first period. I promise. Well, I'm sorry that our conversation was interrupted by a roller derby jam. But I know. I don't know what they were thinking giving Carolina an even heftier lead going into this official real timeout. Still a very time. close game, though. 75-31. It's only 44 points different. That is that is a close game in this in this here game. That could be just a few a few power jams with some grand slams in it. Mm, that makes me hungry. Mm, you make uh. me hungry. I'm going to get a spoon and enjoy the second period. <laughs> All right, this is still dump truck. Yes, it certainly is. <laughs> and this is, there's no doubt about that. And this is Roller Derby's Mildred Pierce. Do you like my new name, Holly? Mm, huh? I do. Yeah, it makes I, me sound I really it. important. It does. <laughs> you're, you're almost as important as you are pretty. Oh, okay, let's take a break so we can go flirt in private. Yay, this We're is Flirty people. DNN.
All right, we're getting ready to start period two of this amazing game between number one seed Carolina versus number four seed Angel City. Score at the half, 75 Carolina over Angel City's 31. 40, 44 point difference, but been an amazing game so far. Carolina's got a lot of experience on their side and also a very deep bench. Angel City has changed tenfold from who they were last year. Last year, they, uh, they had a few appearances and people saw they were on the map and this year they're actually making a map of their own and been really successful today, down by 44, but able to accomplish a lot of their goals on the track this morning. It's gonna be Hollywood Crack on the jammer line for Carolina and it looks like it's gonna be Go Go Gidget for Angel City. My name's Dump Truck. And I'm Roller Derby's Mildred Fierce. And this is gonna be fantastic. Well, there goes Holly Wanna Crack up at the front of the pack. And she's stuck behind. Oh, who is that? Boy, is that not, is, that's not our. That was some great booty blocking by that foremost Angel City blocker. There's Go Go Gidget doing exactly what Holly Wanna Crack you did to a, a couple of jams last time. It's just destroying it. But Holly Wanna Crack is going to milk the clock because it's <laughs> on their side. Absolutely. What, what is that little dance, jammer dance? You go this way, I'll go this way. <laughs> you say potato, I'll say potato. Right in front of you. Right on your lap. And <laughs> just holding, waiting, waiting, and calling it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Now we have JoJo Gadget. Oh, please let go go. I want a JoJo go go jam I, I so bad. Jam. Well, it's Chica go. Is that Chica Go? No. That's going to be Tyra Shanks. Tyra Shanks. We were half. We, I thought we were halfway there. We were so close. Oh my gosh. How's, okay, how's Jojo. Your coffee? <laughs> it's fine. I don't think anyone touched it. I left my iced coffee in the bathroom, okay? I'll just go out there and admit it. It doesn't look like coffee. It's coffee. Yeah, sure. What are you saying? It's a delicious double iced latte that was purchased for me by Sin City's president, Lisa, because our leagues are in love. That is kind of fantastic. Uh, yeah. I want to be in love. I know. That's pretty awesome. You get coffee when you're in love. Tyra Shakes getting bumped to the infield. Has to be recycled to the back of the pack. And it looks like JoJo Gidget is going to be your lead jammer. She gets to the pack successfully. I love watching her jam. She's so powerful. She uh, reminds me of the foreclosure from... Uh, Sacred. Oh, nice. Yes. Really athletic, really strong, really blocks while she's jamming. I, I appreciate that. Tyra Shanks trying to get through, but number 77, Roxy Rocket, giving her the cold shoulder as she goes down in turn four. Take that. <laughs> Kapow. Carolina picking up another grand slam. Five more points for the ladies from the Eastern Region. That's another hard hit by Roxy Rocket. She's she's got she's got a jammer hunger. You know, Roxy Rocket has been in most of the jams and in the blocker position, and she loves to make contact with you if you're wearing a star helmet cover. She's very <laughs> smart. She's very, very agile. She has very impressive lateral movement. It's really hard to get by her, and uh, if you continue to try, she'll probably just attempt to knock you down to the floor, and she's pretty good at that, too. So I remembered the name of the skater that I have a crush on. Oh, nice. On to Sly. Oh. I know. Get in line, Millie. <laughs> I know. She, and she does uh, She does that stamping behind the blockers before you juke to make them oh, look yeah. around and go, huh? Look at the monkey. Look at the monkey. I'm look? over here. There's thunder. Oh, it's on to Sly. <laughs> Another five points for Carolina. Tyra Shakes is in the box. This is a power jam for the advantage going to Carolina. And Carolina, of course, appreciates a power jam. At this point, they don't need a power jam. No, they don't. I mean... They've got, a, they've got a pretty good lead right now, but it's not anything you want to get comfortable with no matter what. You never know what can happen in a game. Right. But they're also going to be using the clock for their side. There's not the sense of urgency that there was in the first period. I wonder if she, you know, <laughs> did you see that little uh, push cart given by the pivot at that last second? And oh, she yeah. did push JoJo right. Her hips went right past that foremost Angel City blocker, and she got the point. There you go. Isn't that nice? Yeah, the, the jam's not off until the fourth whistle's blown, so you've got a little bit of time there. It reminds us all, all you skaters, don't be afraid to touch your teammates. That's right. They are your friends. They're your friends. Heavy petting is completely accessible. <laughs> See? That's, that's nice. We're friends now. Pretty bird. Friend, friend? Pretty bird. <laughs> God, I don't know if Hurt Reynolds is scary or epic. 
He's amazing. God, he looks awesome. I hope everyone out there gets a brief glimpse of Hurt Reynolds. Look at my Facebook page later today. You'll see the before and the after. <laughs> it's amazing. All right, back into the action is going to be Tyra Shanks. Power jam's over. Holly wanted to crack you almost all the way through the pack. She's going to be your lead jammer. Tyra Shanks, in the meantime, taking out a uh, ref and almost three NSOs. That's like, a lot of points doing yeah, that. It's a busy lady. <laughs> Tyra Shanks now going to the outside, trying to get around number 17, Miss Anthrope de Morden. She's got a great juking style. Her whole body kind of dances over to the left and then dances over to the right. It's kind of nice. I like to dance. It's not just her feet. <laughs> Tyra Shanks out through the pack, but Holly want to crack you. She's got to pick up four points on that pass and call off the jam. So have you seen Angel City change anything after halftime, after their powwow with their coach? So far, I haven't seen a whole lot of change. The, the lineup on the jammer line's been about the same. Uh, you know, first jams, you have a power jam situation. They really don't have an opportunity to apply anything they learned in the first period. So hopefully we'll see something here. Well, they have, it's, they're not doing anything wrong, which is part of the problem. Uh, except for, of course, having two blockers in the box on, at the beginning of a jam. That's Brawl and Stanley and Miss Defiant taking a seat there for a minute. And they're going to be joined by Discordia. Who's pulling a poodle. Yeah, that's right. Course, picking accumulating a fourth, fourth minor. minor. I love it. I love the I love the little terms. Eating the baby, trapping the goat, <laughs> poodle, cougaring. My favorite block is the butt swipe. <laughs> There's so many things that can apply there. Uh, yeah. MC yeah. Fight jamming for the first time for Carolina today. Doing a great job. She's your lead jammer. Approaching the back of the pack while we have Angel City still getting blocked at the front. Ghetto Fabulez now making through the pack, able to score some points. I would assume that we're going to call off the jam here in just a few moments. And yeah. that's exactly what Carolina yeah. does. That tends to be their M.O. It didn't quite Get your points. Don't get greedy. Right. Getting greedy can do a whole lot of things. I mean, you've got a lot of track to make up. It hasn't been slow packs this morning. It's been a pretty moderate pace. Nothing super fast. But definitely something to be a lot of work to catch up to to attempt to score more points. You already have a lead, so just go ahead and work it out. Now, I think at the end of the game, as the clock is running out, they'll probably run out the clock a little longer before calling off that jam because right now they're doing it right at the at the end of that first at the end of the first blocker. They may want to use that time more strategically later. Oh, that was a nice hard hit on Angel City's jammer right in between turns one and two, taking her down. So far, Carolina is scoring 22 points in the second period. Angel City has yet to answer back. And there's JoJo jamming again. Yeah, we do have Love a JoJo go go. We have a JoJo go go jam. We got JoJo gadget and go go gadget. Everyone needs to dance right now. JoJo go go. That's right. It's gadget a roller derby dance party. Everybody, 100% more dancing <laughs> right now, wherever you are. There goes JoJo gadget picking up five points. It's a grand slam for Carolina. And JoJo, oh. And go go, <laughs> go go Gidget. Easy for you to say. Yeah, <laughs> you'd think. That one just got through the pack, while that one is now in the back of the pack on a scoring pass. I'm sure that's about as clear as mud. <laughs> Welcome to my world. <laughs> go go Oh, God, now i got to read it. There's go go jo Gidget makes it to the pack for Angel City, while JoJo Gadget <laughs> picks up three more points before the end of that jam. Calls off that jam from the inside of the track on the ground which is a perfectly respectable place to call off a jam. It is, it is. One good thing about that jam is uh, Angel City able to put some uh, points on the board for the first time in the second period. I like that we're behind the Angel City bench. You can see them talking and see how they feel about everything. They have a very positive attitude right now. It seems like they like what they're doing. They like how things are coming together. Yeah, and they are coming together a few points at a time. All right, Black Star Heroin now jamming for the first time for Angel City. An MC fight, jamming for maybe the second time. Blackstar trying to go to the outside, looking for some help there from 911, silent disaster. MC fight making her way through the pack and she is past number 911 and she's your lead jammer. I fear for, num who is that? That's silent disaster, I fear for her, her shorts. I think gravity is overtaking them. You know, gravity is a force not to be reckoned with. I know. It's not just a theory like evolution. <laughs> <laughs> There's no proof of that. Black Star does make it through the pack, but it looks like MC Fight's looking to get past the front three of Angel City. they got to let her go. They are out of the engagement zone. They're in the divorce zone. I think the engagement zone, like when you're way in front, <laughs> it should be called the, like the separation zone and then the divorce, and the zone. divorce zone. Yeah. 
sign here and move on. I think we'll increase our demographic that way. <laughs> I like it. DNN, brainstorming marketing during an important game. <laughs> we never stop thinking. We don't. Last, I tell you what, last night just chilling, talking a whole lot was a good time. Ate no, some pizza. Nothing like talking a whole day and then relaxing by talking, by talking some more. more. <laughs> it's the laughing that kills you. JoJo Gadget on the line for Carolina. And it's going to be Christy Yamagacha, number six for Angel City. Angel City with a full pack out there, so they have the advantage four to three. JoJo Gadget, oh my goodness. She just is not taking anything. She's right on the outside. It's like no one was there. Yeah, she totally slipped right on by. A little bit of a, a, a hip gyration to help her uh, make a little larger window. She moved through, but you got Christy Yamagacha right behind her. So more likely than not, she's going to eat a little clock, and then she's going to call off the jam. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Just mess with her a little bit and calls it off. Oh, just in time for a teeny weeny back block. <laughs> just a little one. All right. Well, the, it, it's very possible that we could have five on five. It's possible. Does that happen anymore? It, from time <gasps> to time. It's happening. And as I say that, oh, Yamagachi going to be going to the box. She has to put the star helmet cover. I guess that back block wasn't so teeny weeny after all. No, she got the big one finger on that one. That's one major. She'll be sitting down. And Thrashley's going to be picking up her fourth minor and having a seat as well. And this is a... Power jam! Yes! <laughs> My day has been made. Uh, we have two jammers in the box, but one is disguised as a blocker. Aha! You're very sneaky. And <laughs> Eris Discordia is your only jammer in your... What does that signal? Oh, she is your lead jammer. She's just... That was an enthusiastic arm wave. <laughs> Discord, your lead jammer, makes her way through the pack, gets by Gogo Gidget. Oh, almost. Ooh. Gogo able to take her down in turn one. She's quick back to her feet. Looks like she's going to be picked up by Chica. On turn two, is she going to get knocked down at every turn here? Angel City would love that. Yeah, that would not hurt their feelings at all. Angel City doing a really great job of, of waterfalling, basically. Everybody's got a chance to give her a lick. She did get a grand slam on that pass, even with those hits. Did not slow her down all that much. Carolina is one of those teams that, that's always in the mix to do something big at any tournament that they show up to. They're, and they're all fighters. They're all very aware of what it feels like to get hit extremely hard. They know what it's like to skate fast. Hell, they do it themselves on a regular occasion. And their team play is just fantastic. There, I've noticed so many times where in this game and another game yesterday, uh, hits from the back that would normally be a back block, even on a skilled skater, turned out to be really just bouncing that jammer off of the back of that blocker. Oh, yeah. Which is... You'd think someone said, well, why don't they just take the NBA fall and, you know, get the jammer out on a Because roller penalty. derby's not lame like NBA. <laughs> That's why. And the other thing, well, that also is going to, if you fall down, it does take you out of play. Oh, yeah. And if, it, if for some reason it doesn't get called or you can't be there to help your jammer, well, don't do it. Yeah, nobody's going to blow a whistle to stop the action because you knock somebody over. They're just going to make you with the penalty box and we move on with our lives. <laughs> JoJo. Gadget is jamming for Carolina. Forcing her way through, just pushing with that right foot. Looks like Reno Revolver. No, I'm sorry. That's going to be Breakfast. Be breakfast is going to be taking a trip to the penalty box. Mm, let's go have a snack. Mm -hmm. Snack time. Bacon. JoJo just, just right past him. Only one block around the track for Angel City. There really was not much she could do. No, there, really, there wasn't. In Angel City, if they want to do anything successfully, they're going to have to watch those penalties. Uh, it's been plaguing both teams, but specifically Angel City. Yeah, absolutely. They really need to stay clean. I mean, yeah, you've got a whole powwow going over there on the bench. Yeah, it's too much. Black Star Heroin looking to jam this time for Angel City. And Thrashley on the line in black for Carolina. We're going to have an official timeout. What you going to do? Oh, you know, just hang out, chill, have some water, think about beer. Yeah. And I'm also going to thank Adam Wheels. They're the first official hybrid wheel. It's true. What floor do you yeah. skate on? Um, I Polished concrete. It doesn't matter what floor you <gasps> skate on. It doesn't? No, because they have these fantastic poison wheels. They'll grip anywhere. Poisons are available now in Flimwith and with alloy hubs. <gasps> it's true. Oh, I like it. Thank you. Aluminum alloy. That makes them lighter. <laughs> lighter, stronger, really? faster, fantastic. Adam Wheels, 
what a great company that is. I, I love seeing, I say this a lot because I've been able to visit a lot of my friends' skate shops, like Sin City, got to go see their shop. Wicked Skate, where I get to see their shop all the time now living in LA. Uh, you know, Fast Girl Skates, unbelievably successful. Adam Wheels, that manufacturer is very successful. I mean, you've got Heartless Wheels, you've got you know, Radar, I mean, all these different companies that are run by people we hang out with and have beers with. Isn't that nice? And it's really awesome to see your friends successful, and we could not be doing that without an, an incredible subculture of roller derby and, and with its support. And of most of those fans. companies started out as, as internet sites, uh, tournament and regional tournament vendors. Right. And now they're bricks and mortar. Yeah. That's so legit. Now they're doing things. They're <laughs> things are getting done. Now there's a door you can open, <laughs> and maybe a little bell goes ding, ding. Maybe it's a whistle. Maybe, maybe when you, no, like a jam whistle. Uh -oh. like, don't you think when you walk in a skate shop, it should like. So when you leave, you hear four whistles. When you show up, yeah. you hear two. <laughs> yeah, a Fox 40 goes off in your ear just to make you feel at home. You know what I learned yesterday, and I didn't know this, but it makes sense. We have two tracks going simultaneously here with just a th one thin curtain in between them, and there's whistles going off all the time on both tracks. Did you know that if you look at track two, all, everyone here is using these pink whistles, neon pink whistles. If you look on track one, they're using a Fox 40, a different whistle. They have different tones. One is lower than the other to try to keep it a little bit under control with the confusion of the whistles. So there's brains and roller derby. Well, it's the refs and NSOs, traditionally sort of the, the nerdy smart ones. <laughs> or nerdy. Speaking of refs, I want to give a special shout out to one of my favorite refs in OC, Russell Crowbar, who named a penalty ah, after me at Wild West. No way. Yes, he did. It's the exploding the heart penalty. It goes like this. <laughs> and thank you, Russell. I have not been called on that penalty so far this weekend. <laughs> oh, I'm a big fan of some Russell Crowbar. But I would Im oh, look at this. I'm a big fan of Trash Trashly. Thrashly. And she is your lead jammer. She is so far ahead of the pack. Took no time at all for her to get through. She did that right over in turn two, and she's been on the move ever since. Black Star Heroin trying to get through the pack. She's got to get around number 70, Roxy Rocket, an all-star with a pivot helmet stripe on. Oh, and she's being joined toward the front of the pack with a bridging, bridging Carolina. And there goes Thrashley through the pack with four points. She owns it all right now, picking up four points, looking to call the jam, just waiting for the last opportunity so she can go ahead and eat some more of that clock up. Hands ready and poised and... Seen. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Everybody breathe. Take a bow. She was almost toying with her, letting her pass her own blockers, thinking in her mind, maybe I'll pass those other four. <laughs> but no. 34 points now for Angel City. 126 for Carolina. Carolina really just pulled away in the second period. They really did. And even though Angel City is still looking fantastic, their blocking is fantastic, their jamming is fantastic. It's just a different game that isn't matching up. But you know, and, and these are the games that help just catapult leagues into another level. Whenever you skate against a league that has a skill level and reputation and intensity that Carolina has, and when you're in Angel City, who's definitely at a competitive level of women's roller derby. And you know, it's 60 minutes of learning moments, no matter which end you're on, whether you're on the, the, the high end of the score or the low end. You're learning what works amazing. and what doesn't. Yeah, exactly. They're going to have an amazing team meeting whenever this is all set up. Right there, ghetto fabulous moving through. Gets lead Look camera status she's the whole bench. Everybody gets excited for it. Holly wanna crack you, hot on her tails, but you know. She's smiling. She's laughing at something over there. One thing that I'm seeing Angel City does need to work on is being aware of where everyone else is. You can see a lot of the girls in the back of the pack for Angel City aren't really looking around to see where even the other blockers are. And you have to yeah. be aware of everything that's going on around you. Now look you also have to keep your ass out of the penalty box. Look at this. Angel City had uh, one blocker on the track right there. Uh, the other blocker tried to go in for a penalty or was just switching out blockers for penalties. That's the second time we've seen one blocker on the track for Angel City. Yeah, big problem. They do need to stop the, the uh, I guess, sloppy play. They just need to clean up a little bit, tighten it up a little bit. Have you been able to, to see what what most of those penalties and box trips are for? Have a lot of stuff. Have you been racking gonna, that up? There, there's, gonna be a, there's been a lot, of, uh, a lot of back blocking and some elbows going through there is what I've seen for the most part. Every team has its favorite penalty. Yeah, they do. They do. You, you can almost pick it out. I think it was either uh, Pacific or Assassination um, really loves forearms. Yeah. <laughs> or yesterday. Maybe it was Saturday Forearm Day. I, d I don't know. <laughs> Saturday's Forearm Day. Sunday is Superhero Day. <laughs> and Superhero for Carolina. Eris Discordia with her cape flowing behind her. 
virtual cape flowing <laughs> behind her. Chrissy Yamagacha jamming for Angel City in the gold. Getting bumped around by uh, Carolina's pivot, doing a great positional blocking job there. Just getting that booty where it needs to be. Roxy Rocket, I tell you, there's been some amazing jamming going on, but if you want to talk about MVP for Carolina, I, I would put a vote in for Roxy Rocket. She's been all over the place. She has been one of those many blockers that Carolina has that have been allowing their jammers to just do their job. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know what, we got the pack under control, we've got the camera under control, you just do your thing, skate fast and turn left. It's, it's absolutely more important to have strong defense than offense. You could have the best uh, offensive moves, the best jammers, but if you can't control the opposing blockers, the opposing jammer, it's, it doesn't matter. No, it doesn't. They'll match you point for point. Yeah, exactly. They'll, they'll kill a bunch of jams just by scoring points right along with you. And we're going to have two players toying with the engagement zone there. But Eris calls off the jam. 15 minutes, 24 seconds to go. And it looks like we have one of the Carolina skaters, one of the blockers uh, being sent to the box at the end of that jam. That's number 12, and that's McFight, who was blocking, I believe, in the last jam. And I, uh, now this has morphed into an official timeout, as they sometimes do. Clarifying some penalties, looks like Tyra Shanks picked up her fourth minor penalty. She's going to be going to the box instead of having number 9-1-1, Ashter, being on the track. Now it's two on two, micro pack, one jammer on. <laughs> it's mini derby. That's right. And they're just trying to eat that clock up, so number 3D, Ms. Defiant, can make her way out to the track and help out. And JoJo Gadget is jamming for... Carolina, and she's done a fantastic job of just blocking her own way through that pack. Ghetto Which, Fabulous does get through the pack, though. She's going to be your lead jammer. Angel City needs some moves like this. Yes, they need they need lead jammer status for a few more times to really really get back in this game on the scoreboard. Yep, the clock is definitely against them right now, and lead jammer is very, very, very important. So what they need to do is keep their jammer on the track. You can see Ghetto Fabulous calling off the jam as she passes one blocker and she's a window to be able to pass both and she picks up all available points there. She knows how long Smart. it takes for four whistles to blow. Yeah, exactly. Just that's, enough that's for one that we more. we were talking about. You know, the last whistle is the one that really counts. The yeah. first one lets you know it's almost over. you got a good half a second before it's really said and done. There's Thrashley up on the line again. Going against Black Star Heroin. Oh, look at Black Star Helen's socks say bacon. Bacon. Mm, I think breakfast should have those socks, too. <laughs> I do. Carolina with 138 over Angel City's 38 points with 10 minutes and change to go. And it looked like Angel City, you know, it looked like that jam started with one of the pack refs on the outside having a conversation still. But that's just me and my blind eyes. <laughs> Well, whether you're a rookie with big derby dreams or a vet who needs a special something to take your game to the next level, you'll find what you're looking for with Fast Girl U. Fast Girl University training events are open to skaters of every skill level. Get schooled at fastgirlu.com. That's the words fast girl, the letter U.com. You know, I never finished my degree. Maybe this is my opportunity. The time is now. Do they have algebra? <laughs> I think that's one that I never quite completed. I never learned how to spell it. <laughs> Elgabri. <laughs> All right, there goes Thrashley. And who is that next to her? Black Star Heroin. And in, in the pack, it's going to be three on two. Advantage to Angel City. And it looks like Tyra Shanks is already on her feet, meaning she's got 10 seconds or less to go in the box. That's going to leave one Carolina blocker in the box with an advantage still to Angel City, which we haven't really seen very much of. Black Star's going to be your lead jammer. We were just talking about how important it is to control the clock for Angel City. That's Let's see if they can start doing some damage. That's two jams in a row. Maybe this is the beginning of a roll. That's not a derby joke. <laughs> Looks like she's getting some assistance as she moves to the pack, being escorted in. Nice little push cart from a teammate. Great positional move there by Tyra Shanks. Gets right in front of number 12, MC Fight, and pushes her out of the way, opening up a window. Offense and defense in the same move. Exactly. She made her into a point. Gotta love it. You used to be a skater. Now you're just a point. 
How do you feel about yourself now? How does that make you feel? Oh, well, it looks like we have a brand new jammer on uh, the line for Carolina, number 1893, Sue Yu. Actually, no? Yeah. My roster says Sue Yu. It looks like she may have a different name on her jersey. So That happens. Let's see which one we like better. <laughs> Fabulous going to the outside in turn two. She's making it through the pack. Could it be? Yes, it is. The third lead jammer in a row. Nice. Nicely for done. Angel City. This has to make them happy. This looks good. This is going to help them when it comes time for seeing who's ranked where. Very nice. And number 1893, whose jersey says Führer, uh, and my roster says Su Yu, has now gone through the pack. It was about half a, half a lap away while Angel City really takes advantage of this lead jammer status. By calling it off. Goes ahead and calls off the jam. And they Picks get a grand. Three. Is that a three? That was three points there for Angel City. Oh, the bench is awesome. Lots of love going on. They know exactly what they need to do. They need, they need to start applying some of that knowledge we've been talking about the entire morning. And yep. they're doing it, and it's been become really successful for them. And Black Star is going to be out there jamming again. She's going against one of my favorite Harris. people, period, to see on the track. Harris Discordia. Now, they may not make up these points to to really match Carolina, but what they're going to do is they're going to apply what they're learning with every jam. Right. And they're going to put points on the board, and they're going to come together as a team, and that's something important to take away from this tournament. Blackstar moves to the outside. A lot of the girls from Angel City tend to like the outside line. And I see Eris Discordia getting a nice whip to the out same outside by number 77. That's Brox Rocket, isn't it? Roxy Rocket. Roxy Rocket all over the place. Everywhere you need her to be. 4-3 in the pack. Advantage to Carolina. Blackstar trying to get around now. She's got to get around Roxy Rocket. Oh, Something Roxy. that's been very hard for everyone to do today. Silent Disaster trying to clean up the floor there for her jammer and do a little damage on Rock's Rocket. And you've her. seen three different blockers from Carolina hit Black Star as Black Star just continues to move to the back of the pack and get recycled. That's the way to recycle. They're eco-friendly with all that recycling out there. Reduce, reuse, <laughs> and I don't know. Oh no, it looks like the jammer for Angel City is going to have to sit down for a minute on a cutting the track major. You know, whenever you... you, you um, punish a jammer like Carolina as it did the Black Star in that last jam or this current jam uh, you tend to frustrate them and, and you get in their head a little bit just out of frustration they're going to make a mistake and, and that's I mean and that's what happens that's just part of roller derby I mean Discordia has done the same thing <laughs> <laughs> and I, I did not I was not watching the ref for the call but I'll bet it was cutting the track you think it's the jammer's favorite penalty yay all right Black Star And she's stuck. She is stuck at the back of that pack, and she unfortunately look at Roxy Rocket just waiting at the front of the pack for her turn. Angel City able to open up a window at the back of the pack to the inside, allowing Black Star to go through. But then Black Star was left up front with three Carolina defenders. What needs to happen is Angel City needs to make that move, hustle up, make that move, hustle up, and continue to escort her through there when you're going against a defensive squad like Carolina. And they opened up those holes for their jammer, but guess who took advantage of them? Oh, Aris Discordia yeah, came right. back on the track and used those same holes that were just opened up. Yeah, you'll watch a lot of a lot of the most successful uh, teams in roller derby. They, they do the constant attack. It's a JoJo Go Go. What? JoJo Go Go Gidget Gadget Jam. Go flock yourself. Are you serious? <laughs> Bargain bastages. <laughs> <laughs> so, as you all are very aware, it's now Go Go Gidget. JoJo Gadget. <laughs> on the jammer line for Carolina. Jojo go, Jojo go, Jojo go. Jojo goes to the inside. Gogo -Go looks to do the opposite, both getting tripped up in the straightaway. Jojo just forcing her way through. I just love watching her. She is not your lead jammer due to some minor cutting of the track. But, boy, she is absolutely the first one through with hardly a problem at all. 
you know, there's there's a few sports. I know there's one drill in football where you're supposed to continue to drive your legs. You make contact. You move, 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 move. There are a few ladies in roller derby that have picked up on that exact same tactic, whether it be in past um, sports-related experience or something that's being developed now by coaching. I love to see it. If you're gonna if you're gonna hit them, you gotta hold them too. Right. I've seen that in coach in coaching and practices I've attended and practices I've watched where you plant one foot and you just push with your back foot. You yeah. put one shoulder forward and you just push and push and push and push. Keep on going. JoJo's one of those that I think gets to use both feet. She's very, very agile, very sure-footed. Yeah. She's going to hit you and she's just going to drive her way all the way to freedom. And she's strong. She's not one of your smaller skaters. No, she's definitely not. She is a very athletic woman and she proves it every time she has to track. It's so exciting to see people like that jam. It's fun to watch them block because I always make these huge things happen. But when they put the star helmet covered on, it's yes. spectacular. I love it. It's a three-on-three -three pack in this jam with Threshley jamming for Carolina. And Ghetto Fabulez for Angel City. And Roxy Rocket right up in front where she loves to be. Front of the pack shark. Oh, and who is regulating her so nicely? Well, that's Brawl, Brawl Stanley. Brawl Stanley, a transfer from Suburbia Derby and White Plains, New York. Well, that's about as far away as you can get. Yeah, it's, it's pretty much the polar opposite to where Los Angeles is located. I mean, I guess she could have come from Australia. That would have been further. That would have been a really long walk. Then she'd talk funny. <laughs> Funnier than New York, even. What? Well, she's oh. actually her first game with ACDG mm -hmm. was yesterday. No. Get yeah. out. And there are two transfers that they got from uh, Bakersfield as well. Their first games with ACDG were yesterday. You know, that's it's a just, really skilled a, skater who can adapt so quickly and be part of a team mentality. What, what do you think is going to happen towards the end of the season? I mean, they've got, obviously continue to add great talent to their squad. It makes me sick how it, good they're going to be. It makes me really am, stoked because I'm in their backyard. That is. They won't let me in their front yard. <laughs> they have to come in the back gate. They're like, no, we don't want our neighbors to know that you're here. Do they make you bring your own plastic bags for cleaning? They make me wear pants. <laughs> Actually, that's a complete lie. They hate it when I wear pants. That's why I love them. <laughs> Christy Amagacha jamming for Angel City. And we have got uh, Ginger Clobbers jamming again for North Carolina. I think this is only her second jam, second appearance on the jam line. And we've got 150 to 49, Carolina on top, with two and a half minutes to go in regulation. And there's JoJo blocking in this jam. Really versatile players on both teams. But I actually am seeing Carolina's jammers switching it up with blocking a little more. Yeah, they're starting to, uh, to spread it out a little bit. Right now, it looks like it's going to be a power jam situation for Christy Yamagacha. Carolina probably going to try and speed things up. Angel City probably going to try to do the opposite. <laughs> and Holly Wanakrakia was all over Yamagacha. She said, I've jammed against you. Now I finally get to just hit a ball over you. <laughs> Christy Yamagacha now going against... The front three of Carolina, but actually she's going to the penalty box. She's going to be joined by Black Star Heroin. Oh, and that was the jam ref signaling to her. Oh, there was a yes, a no, and a yes. That's not confusing. An on-again, off-again relationship with her jam ref. Uh, derby dates. Darn it. One tournament at a time. <laughs> so now we've got... Uh, Ms. Clobbers, Ms. Ginger Clobbers, the only jammer on the track. I think that was the 55-foot rule there. <laughs> For all those officials out there, it's 20 feet. I do Too not zero. harass officials, but whenever it's like 50 feet in front and you finally give the warning for out of uh, the zone of engagement. You do feel the frustration of the jammer. Yeah, very much so. I mean, you, you've got hash marks on the track. I mean, they're hot pink. They are hot. Wow, don't lay down on that track. You'll get just swallowed up in all that <laughs> hot pink. <laughs> Said oh, swallowed. I, I, gosh darn you. Yeah, yeah. Christy Almagacha was looking at uh, Arena the track. There's a lot of whistles happening here. And Ginger Clobber is headed to the pack or to the box as a jammer right before the end of that jam, unfortunately. So it looks like this next jam is going to start in a power jam. Advantage going to Angel City here with Go Go Gidget on the jammer line, all on her lonesome. And Carolina's jammer penalty really in the early stages, so Angel City could really use this to their advantage. One thing if they want that is unfortunate so far for Angel City is whenever they get in this scenario where it's time for them to take advantage of it, you look in the box and they've got at least two skaters in there almost every time. And now look at this out of play situation. That was a really casual, relaxed, no pack situation with the Angel City blockers laying on the track. 
I've never seen that before. I haven't either. Who said Angel City doesn't know how to have a good time? <laughs> it's under a minute to go in regulations, 155 to 49, which may uh, explain a little bit of the loosey-goosey. We're going to have fun with this last jam. I like attitude. that attitude. I do, too. I like it. Did you know we're supposed to have fun in Roller Derby? Oh, my Weird. gosh. Regulation clock has expired. We're going to go to the jam clock. Either the jammer will call the jam off if they are lead, or we'll wait for the full two minutes to expire. How unfortunate for uh, Carolina to end this game potentially with their jammer in the box. That's just not fun. No, Even you, though they're so far ahead, they've clearly won this game. Right. It doesn't give you that heck yeah kind of feeling. <laughs> and we've got there. She's just she's not going to call this off. I think she's going to run this clock out and see what she can do with it. And that's go go out there. And now we've got uh, Ginger Clobbers back on the track as well for the last, oh, perhaps another minute. What do we have there? 49 seconds of this jam. We have Ginger Clobbers comes out a minute in and is your lead jammer. Ginger Clobbers coming around to the back of the pack where Gogo -Go is going to get a little defensive on her with a nice big hit to the inside. Is it, this isn't stopping. There's 30 seconds left and they're... Looks like that's going to be the end of the first game of the day. Number one versus number four, Angel City. A big question mark as they are constantly evolving with transfers coming in and out. And obviously their strategy um, starting to step up, especially from last year to this year. Carolina doing what Carolina does, skating hard, skating fast, using their entire bench. Now, we don't know who Carolina is going to be playing next, do we? We do not. There's actually the next game is going on right now versus Silicon Valley in Tucson. That's and they're going to play the winner game. of that game. And the, wh whoever is unsuccessful here will be seeing Angel City later today. Those are two great games no matter which, uh, which slots are filled by which teams, I have to tell you. These are the ones that get you forward. Love to see the great sportsmanship here. Look at this. Oh, hugs, kisses, smiles, high fives all around. If you can't tell what DNN's mission is by listening, to the fantastic roller derbies. <laughs> if you can't tell listening to us today what roller derby's goal in life is, then you need to go check out derbynewsnetwork.com forward slash mission. All we want to do is bring you roller derby over the interwebs and giggle the whole way through. And make you a little smarter. That's yeah. always my ulterior motive. <laughs> what? It's almost like we have a purpose. <laughs> well, thanks for listening out there in Derby Nation. Stick around. There's a lot more Derby today. It's going to be a great afternoon. Uh, it's been such a great morning doing this with you. My name's Dump Truck. My name's Roller Derby's Mildred Fierce. And this is DNN.